There seems to be some confusion between Pro Power onboard and intelligent backup power, so let's clarify that right now. Pro Power refers to the onboard inverters, 7.2 kW, 2.4 kW. They're separate inverters, so you cannot power one load at 9.6 kW, which is the total maximum output for the onboard inverters. Ford has not commented on this directly, but likely Pro Power Onboard uses the exact same inverters that we find in the F-150 Hybrid. Rather than designing a new 9.6 kW inverter specifically for the Lightning, this was likely a little bit less expensive. There are also some additional 20 amp outlets inside the cab of the F-150 Lightning. Those run off the 2.4 kW inverter. Intelligent backup power powers your home in the event of some sort of power failure up to a maximum of 9.6 kilowatts, but it's not doing that with the onboard inverters. Now Ford has not said whether you can do intelligent backup power and pro power onboard at the same time. That would be kind of cool, but let's talk about the difference. So pro power onboard, again, onboard inverters. You cannot power a single load more than 7.2 kW. Intelligent backup power, that's a completely different animal. What's going on there is that if you get the extended range battery pack, it actually provides DC power output to the CCS connector right here on the driver's side. So the vehicle to load functionality here in that instance is very different than say the EGMP platform vehicles from Hyundai and Kia, which are doing onboard power inversion and then exporting the power via the J1772 connector. This is putting out DC power direct from the battery pack via that CCS port. The DC connection to the external inverter is handled by the 80 amp EVSE that comes with the extended range battery pack version of the F-150. So that plug is gonna be a CCS style plug. It's a little bit bulkier than your average home EVSE. That EVSE then shuttles the DC power over to a Sunrun inverter and then a Sunrun transfer station and there's a small external lithium ion battery pack to keep that whole setup going when the power goes off. Ford has not explained exactly why they chose to do it that way rather than using the onboard inverters and then exporting power through the J1772 connector. I would have thought that would have made a little bit more sense. It might have been slightly less expensive than the Sunrun option, so definitely keep that in mind. If you want that particular functionality, it is more than simply getting that 80 amp EVSE from Ford. You have to get that, you have to get the Sunrun box, you have to get the transfer switch from them, and of course, Sunrun has to do the installation. That said, if you're interested in having your EV automatically back up your home, this is by far the most elegant solution currently available. Now I have to say, if it were me, I would simply have a manual transfer switch and I would use the 7.2 kW inverter port in the back. That should work just fine.